Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to solve a one dimensional random variable problem under probability. The question they have given in a LA race, there are five teams A, B, C, and D. So, what is the probability that A, B, and C finish first, second, and third respectively? So, in the first subdivision, they have specifically given A, B, and C in the first, second, and third places. So, coming to the solution, we take five places where this is the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. But as per the question, they say A in the first, B in the second, C in the third respectively. It means in these two places, in the place 4, there is a chance, number of chances, either D or E, only these two are remaining. So, this place has two chance, when one occupy here, one more remaining and that will come in the fifth place. So, totally it is two chances. So, its probability will be 2 divided by the total chances out of the 5 places, 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. So, this if we want to know, elaborate, let us write total here. And the total is nothing but we have 5 places, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and in the first place there are 5 chances, when 1 occupy here the remaining 4 will come in the second place, when another occupy here out of 5, 2 places occupied by 2 elements and remaining will be 3 to occupy here and this is 2 and this is 1. So totally this value is 120. So we take 2 by 120. After simplification, we get 1 by 60. Coming to the subdivision 2, they ask what are the probability that A, B, C are the first 3 to finish. It can be in any order. So, once again, we take 5 boxes because there are 5 positions. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And they say in the first 3 here, a, B, C occupy. It can be in any order. And the last two places will be occupied by D and E. So now the probability will be to occupy in such a way. Here we have three places and three elements. So that can be occupied in three factorial ways and two places and two elements can be occupied in two factorial ways and total probability already we have discussed it is 120. So this is three factorial is 3 into 2, 2 factorial is 2 into 1 which is 2 divided by 120 and when we multiply the numerator 3 to the 6, 6 to the 12 so it is 12 by 120 after simplification it is 1 by 10.